Girl meets boy. Boy shows interest in girl. Boy and girl know they can't be together, so they have to start a secret relationship. While this premise sounds like the perfect coming-of-age love story, boy is 42 and girl is 15. And while this premise does spark a lot of red flags, this book is so important and necessary. So let's get into it. I'll be playing Animal Crossing, and my drink of choice today is a Thai tea. Because of the heavy topics surrounding this book review, I do want to start with a trigger warning and an affirmation. My Dark Vanessa, while a powerful read, also deals heavily with difficult topics such as child sexual abuse, assault, grooming, and more. Know that if you are a survivor, your journey towards healing is valid and important, and I believe in you. You have the right to seek help and support, and there is no shame in doing so. You deserve to live a life free from the pain of your past, and I support you in your journey towards healing and wholeness. If you've watched my previous reviews, they are very summary heavy. I'd like to do a little bit of a pivot with this one, so let me know if you like it more or if you prefer the other style. We're just trying this out as we go. Kate Elizabeth Russell talks how the inspiration behind My Dark Vanessa is actually the book Lolita by novelist Vladimir Novikov. And you can definitely tell there's similarities, except in Lolita, there's a 12-year-old girl with a middle-aged literature professor. My Dark Vanessa tells the story of Vanessa, a young girl who's been groomed by her English teacher in high school and then ends up in a long-term relationship with him once she is 18. Even in adulthood, she struggles to truly accept what has happened to her and still considers it a consensual relationship. The entire time while reading this book, I thought about 16-year-old me, and then I thought about present me, and how a younger version of myself would have received this book. Present me has worked at a rape crisis center. Present me is a 30-year-old. And even as a former middle school teacher, I can never imagine dating any of my students. I think about 16-year-old me. And just like Vanessa, she would have swooned over adult attention. To that effect, Kate Elizabeth Russell does such a good job of being able to demonstrate how irrational that thinking can be. Vanessa is an unreliable narrator. The more you get into the book, the more you see how human she is. It's because she is an unreliable narrator that Kate Elizabeth Russell makes you really question is her teacher, Jacob Strain, really a bad person? Did he truly find himself stuck in the moral dilemma of falling in love with an underage girl? Or was he always a calculated predator? Knowing that this book was a response to Lolita, I definitely leaned into knowing that Jacob Strain was not a good person. While in the beginning you maybe might find reason to feel sorry for him, the blurry lines become painfully defined. When rumors start surfacing about their relationship, Strain tells Vanessa that if she tells on him, she will end up in foster care. Even when Vanessa is an adult, Strain tells Vanessa that if she comes forward, her reputation will forever be marred. Because of their relationship, Vanessa was kicked out of her school. We later find out that Strain was the reason that she got kicked out, even though he told Vanessa to lie and say that she was just obsessed with him. Time and time again, the book shows that Strain was just looking out for himself, even if and there is a massive if here. He truly did form innocent feelings for Vanessa. As the adult, he should have made efforts to nip the situation in the bud. He is an irredeemable character. His end and his choice to send Vanessa, his sick mementos, are really indicative that even if he never could bring himself to say it, he knew exactly what he did. In showing how Vanessa was groomed by strain, this book importantly opens the conversation to ask us how we view rape. On a basic dictionary level, we can accept that consent involves two willing adults who are of a consenting age and not under the influence of some kind of mind-altering substance. Using this definition, we know that Strain committed statutory rape. Once more though, the lines are a little bit blurry with Vanessa's college professor, Henry Plow. Vanessa's 21, she's about to graduate. Yes, Henry is married, but being unfaithful to your wife is not necessarily a crime. What's a little 10 year age gap, right? I think of examples of current pop stars speaking about their relationships with older people. I think of Demi Lovato and Wilder Valderrama. I think of Taylor Swift and Jake Gyllenhaal. For non-consensual acts, we have this big impactful word that even sounds scary to utter, rape. It's so connotative that it feels too strong to explain what happens in relationships with age gaps and power imbalances. At 21, you're a consenting adult, but you might not yet understand why you might regret a relationship with a big age gap when you hit 30. Words help put these conflicting abstract ideas into something that feels more tangible. It's good that not only celebrities are speaking out about this, but that these books also are showing the issues that can come with these kinds of relationships. Overall, I had so much to love about this book. 
In a world where genres of books depict toxic relationships as whirlwind romances, My Dark Vanessa provides a contrasting perspective. Whether you're an older reader or a younger reader, you can see the full spectrum of Vanessa's relationship to strain, how it affects her long into her adulthood. From the outside looking in, there are so many red flags that become readily apparent. Strain doesn't overtly assault Vanessa. His grooming comes in small acts, constantly pushing boundaries until she feels perfectly comfortable with him. Vanessa is neither a reliable narrator, nor is she a likable character. And this is really important. It might be easier to believe a survivor who is kind and welcoming and has a great big group of friends. But Vanessa was a poor outcast in her high school. Even into adulthood, she had a very off-putting personality. But none of that should get in the way of her being believed as a survivor. Seeing Taylor's story in contrast to Vanessa's creates further exploration of what it means to be groomed and to come to terms with your own abuse. Taylor, who was also a student of Strain's, quickly rebuffed Strain's actions and felt deeply hurt by them. But Vanessa could not understand Taylor. Vanessa is not a perfect character but I don't want her to be. Vanessa was deeply human. My Dark Vanessa is such an important read for this time. Books like these do not only provide a powerful narrative, but they leave you thinking about real life implications long after you've read them. If you've read this book, please tell me in the comments what you thought about it. I always love to hear your thoughts and feedback as well. And of course, check out my previous cozy gaming book reviews if you wanna join the conversation. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.